Hey all my fellow and soon to be maniacs out there, this is your favorite webcomic creator and animator The Chainsaw Maniac Here with another edition of Coffee and Chainsaw The segment where I just chill, you know, I rant, I talk about whatever the hell I want What's happened over the past few weeks, months or even the entire year and how my process is going with my comics or my animation So if you guys enjoy the content, I suggest you head on down to that like button Subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to be notified of anything else I do on this channel So I had this little competition well, it wasn't my competition You know, I didn't host to do anything But my homie Yuning, you know, she uh, hosted this competition that we did for Valentine's Day And you know, I'm not a really sappy kind of guy So I'm not into the whole romance Valentine stuff But you know, I decided to do one because it would be a cool thing And you know, it was a team building thing in a sense of we're gonna have a team we're gonna build a comic together for this competition and you know winner gets all the glory now obviously my team won because you know i am who i am but otherwise <laughs> but yeah it was a very fun experience and also you know stepping out of my comfort zone i don't really do romantic romancy type stuff and so doing this is pretty cool but we did have a little bit of a I would say something that I would normally do in my comments I have like a very creepy and easy spin on the thing and I thought that was pretty cool also I got to shit on my friend Yuning so also a very good you know upside to the whole competition got a shit on my friend I won it got all the glory and also I got to learn with my team uh, this new uh, art style which by the way shout out to Garth as well and shout out to Della for the concepts you know they kind of put their stuff together I put my art style together and we made this cool like looking this very vibrant you know very saturated like style and you're probably looking at the screen right now and I'll throw up some panels and stuff so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and also the link to this comic is in the description you can check out the other entries as well everyone else did a good job it was pretty fun you know story and everyone had a ball because you know i got shit on uning in the process and everyone enjoyed it so you know even if whether i win or lose as long as we're all having fun and i get to entertain some people i you know i'm all cool with that and so yeah it was pretty cool i'm pretty sure we'll have another one and like another art jam contest sometime in the future based on whether it's Halloween or whatever, I don't know what Yuning plans to do, but we'll probably do another one in the future. And so, yeah, this is a very cool thing to step out of my comfort zone and also work in a team because normally I do it by myself. We had like a week, you know, to finish this thing. And then Yuning was like, well, I'm not going to be here, guys, on the next thing. And so we postponed it for like three weeks. Uh, also, we had like extra two weeks, you know, my, my homie Jess she just she piled she plowed straight through that entire week you know and finished the comic like in a week or something right so yeah they kind of started off running there and you know they got a head start a lot of us were busy as well because we have life stuff to do so like yeah elias was talking mad shit as well my homie elias talking mad shit and uh he almost didn't complete the damn contest he kind of fumbled his comic a bit so that was very interesting and then obviously you know, we kind of, I almost killed my homie Garth because we were like on the last few, we were kind of chill, you know, I didn't want to pressure the team. So I was like, you know, because I know when to hold them and when to fold them. So we were kind of in the last week and I was like, okay guys, we need to step on the gas now. We need to get this thing out. And by like Thursday, this thing is like due uh, Sunday. And I was like, guys, we got to finish this by like Friday or Saturday because if we don't, we are fucked. So you, you better finish this. Because I ain't gonna lose this competition. <laughs> or at least I'm gonna put my best foot down. So you guys gotta step on that gas. And you know, they, they did the best they could. And you know, I appreciate the team. Shout out to Garth. Shout out to Della. Because they did a really good job, you know. Um, and all of these people that I am mentioning. All their socials and stuff will be in the... If you go and check out the comic. You'll find all the socials and the links right there. So you can go ahead and when you check out the comic follow them make sure you if you enjoy their works and stuff like that go in and look at this stuff you know they're pretty cool so yeah I'm, I'm very excited to see what comes next for now i am working on and i'm planning also to upload more videos i have a few videos that i plan to do based on my blender background so if you guys are interested to see how i utilize uh, blender to create my backgrounds for my comics and stuff like that and how i use them also in my animations 
um i will put that uh videos up soon i'm not sure when because i still have to record it and you know put it together and with videos like that obviously you kind of have to structure it a bit more because it's kind of more instructive and also like more direct on kind of what i had to go through throughout the process and stuff like that and like the best options and stuff that i would do in terms of creating the background as well as the material set up and stuff like that so it is gonna take a while to put out that video at the same time i am working on season two of kill all heroes at the same time i am also revamping season one of kill all heroes so i'm kind of hearing that shit from both sides okay so you guys have to bear with me okay i'm kind of doing a lot of things i'm planning on finishing season two of kill all heroes probably sometime in september july sometime that time i'm finishing it otherwise you might get it only by the end of the year you know what i mean and then at the same time i'm still working on a opening um for my season one of kill heroes i'm working for i'm working on an animated opening for that so yeah i'm working on it in the back you know it's almost done i got a few scenes that i still gotta heat up um i think the scripting is done i got the song choice you know everything's all good it's just a ma matter of polishing and putting the scenes together that i have planned to release by the middle of this year sometime so you're either gonna get it end of june or maybe beginning of july so we'll see how that goes also there's a those anime adaptations for my comics that i still gotta check up on i don't know how that's going i haven't heard back from the studio so i gotta still check up on that i still haven't finished up the character sheets there's another thing that's on my mind and there's another thing that i gotta finish luckily work is kind of cooling down for me it used to be very busy but now it's kind of cooling down so i have more time i still have time now after work that i can actually work on the stuff that i want to work on so yeah it's gonna be very cool moving forward my streams every saturday it's still it's still gonna happen you know what i mean so we're gonna march on there so yeah i still want to kind of keep active on my patreon and my ko-fi i still haven't figured out uh i gotta figure out the schedule or something on when i can upload and stuff like that on there because i do want to keep that active and so that's something that i also want to work on in this year so it's a lot and also you know i've been trying to up my game so i've been doing a lot of more studies a lot of stuff that i'm still looking into i kind of want to you know ramp up things a bit more i do want to improve as usual so there's a lot of things that i'm doing also behind the scenes to improve my skills whether it's like learning more about anatomy and stuff like that or poses or dynamic poses or you know whether it's figuring out uh, more aspects of animation how i would like to improve there there's a lot of things that i am doing in the back and um there's a lot of comic content that i think i should do so there's another thing that i also want to talk about which is the integration of ai into how things are going to work whether it's the animation industry or just the art industry in general whether it's you know illustration or something like that so ai is you know taking a step forward and there's a lot happening with ai and it's new things that i'm also looking into for my future endeavors uh in terms of ai in terms of ways on how we can use ai to adapt to this new set of workflow that's going to come in the future because it's going to come and whether or not you're going to adapt with it or you're going to fall behind that's up to you but obviously there's the ethical questions of using ai and how to use it ethically and how not to kind of step on the foot of other artists um or just art like the art industry in general um there is a lot of things and new a lot of there's a lot of nuances and stuff that is coming and that stuff that i've seen and um a lot of people's been worried this whole time about ai taking out jobs or ai have this or that or the other um i'm not uh, actually i've spoken about this before and i don't think i'm that worried about ai it's just to tell you the truth what's going to happen is just the weakest weeds are going to be weeded out and that's just all it is looking now at like the industry and how it's structured uh, a lot of the junior level creators a lot of the junior level peeps are kind of kind of get weirded out because so there's a lot of work that uh, juniors do normally it's like assisting the senior level artists there's a lot of stuff like you know for example like filling in like uh, doing the in-betweens like in animation or maybe just doing the fills within the animation or you know just the basic full work and then you kind of do the rendering later on in terms of like uh, shading and colors and stuff like that so like they just do maybe the basic full work or maybe they just set up scenes for you or you know they do basic things so like 
it's very they kind of set the foundation for the higher level artists to just pick it up and kind of just finish it off right so basically they can do the finishing touches and also and also check up on what exactly needs to be fixed and actually you know clean it up a bit so that type of stuff i can see definitely ai weeding out a lot of that work for example like if you're gonna sculpt something you need to read apologize it to actually put it into an animation or something like that you will get ai to do that basically what and for those of you who don't know what re apologizing is it's basically in 3d where let's say you have a very high res uh, sculpt which is like composed of multiple verts or uh, vertices so to say and obviously certain types of game engines or it also helps ease your pc a bit in terms of the impact of you know gpu and cpu and how much you know it actually affects your pc so what you would do is normally just bring the verts down by retopologizing it and then you're know, baking the normals and stuff like that and i know it sounds like a lot of technical speak but basically it's just to kind of clean up things so that it's easier to be used on your pc whether you rig up the characters for animation and stuff like that it's just to help with that process and so normally sometimes the junior level artists would do that they would just you know take this high this very high res you know 3d model and kind of re-topologize it bring it down a bit let's say it's like 1 million verts they'll bring it down to probably like 10,000 verts which will make it easier for your pc to run things and obviously easy for you to work with and so stuff like that just like very you know basic cleanup stuff but now with ai you know at the click of a button that stuff can be cleaned up and so a lot of those type of jobs as, as i was saying is going to be claimed by ai i've kind of seen a lot a lot of voice acting stuff as well i've seen a lot of the voice acting software and it's getting good i can tell you now like i've seen um we use a software called 11 labs and it is very good like uh, for what it can be used now obviously there's, there's still a little bit of kinks on how the ai should pronounce things but there is ways around it it's not gonna obviously pick up immediately but what it can do is it can actually and there's actually a new function now where you can actually speak into you can actually do speech to speech now so basically you talk and the ai takes the way you speak into consideration and it kind of learns from your speech and it figures out how exactly to inflict things and how to actually you know and obviously in the wrong hands this 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 uh, software can be a bit uh a bit dangerous but um obviously for a lot of artists i can see this be innovated a lot in terms of obviously a lot of voice actors are going to lose their job if the ai gets really good right so that's so that's kind of the downside and it's a lot of things that i can see happening in the future where a lot of people who had a specific type of job is now going to be kind of the only way to get around this is either you adapt and figure out how exactly to utilize ai in a way so that you can use the exact same thing or some sort of process to where you can integrate it in a way that kind of allows for your skills and stuff like that things that will be valuable for people to purchase like basically you need to put value into what you're selling so that's what i'm trying to say so obviously if you're a voice actor you need to make sure that you are the fucking best voice actor out there and because you're competing with ai now so you see you kind of have to adapt that workflow i don't know if i'm making sense here I'm not very good at explaining this stuff, but in my mind, I can see what I'm trying to say and I just don't know how to get it out. I think it would better be, I think voice acting is a bit of a, uh, it's a bit difficult to explain. Let's say animation itself. Animation might be easier for me to use as an example. So animation, AI comes along, it gives us new set of tools and stuff like that. So let's say, you know, all those cleanup tools that normally junior level artists would do or um, basic setup stuff. Let's say AI comes along and AI is like, hey, you can just click a button and bam, bam, bam. You can move things over here. You can do quick setup. You can also like clean up here and move stuff there with like a few clicks of the buttons. A lot of those work are obviously going to fall away from junior artists. But what it is going to do, it is going to build high level artists. And I, this is the thing that I'm, I'm actually thinking about now. Because what's going to happen is the junior levels are going to have to step up the game. They're gonna have to become senior level in a very short 
quick amount of time to keep up with this flow. So what's gonna happen is, and this is just what I'm seeing, a lot of junior level artists are going to have to step up to hit that level. That level of artistry where you have to surpass the AI and become way better than you can ever imagine. So from the way I see it, people are kind of looking at it the wrong way. People are seeing that AI is taking this job, taking that AI is not, they're not specifically replacing the job. They're changing the entire system of how things work. And you're going to have to adapt to the system and figure out ways to improve yourself and kind of surpass and kind of surpass the current system of what is like set already. Like, I don't know if I'm making sense. I have to keep saying like, I don't know if I'm making sense because I, I, I'm not good at explaining this stuff, but I know what I mean. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and it may sound like crazy conspiracy speak, but it's just something that I thought about. I've been sitting there thinking about it because that's what I'm doing. Like AI is improving and I'm like, fuck that. I'm not going to be left behind. So I'm learning all the AI shit, seeing what they can do, learning. I'm basically studying my enemy is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> or studying the competition so to say and that's what you always got to do you always got to look at artists in the industry as your competitors they can be cool you can be cool with them but remember you're competing for the same thing with them so you gotta you gotta step up your game so when i look at a really cool artist and i'm like god damn look what they can do it really like i'm like i can do that too i can do that i know i can do that I just gotta figure out how to get there so i gotta figure out all these ways so what's gonna happen is a lot of and also this is gonna be very good for solo artists solo artists and i can see this the industry is gonna change guys like it's gonna be insane and from someone who's in kind of the industry like i can see it happen it's happening like a lot of corporate heads are saying like we gotta figure out this ai thing because we don't want to be left behind so they kind of figuring out, you know, ways to integrate the AI without kind of stepping on any legal or moral issues or ethical issues. They're trying to figure out ways to kind of sidestep that shit. So they're going to figure it out. Eventually, we're going to figure out the system and how we're going to have to work this thing. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is you guys got to step up your fucking game. Okay. You guys need to get your shit together that's what i'm saying there's a lot of crazy stuff coming guys and uh this is all to this is to all the young people out there the people who think oh i'm just gonna do this cool comic and i can be like fucking akira toriyama and all of a sudden i get an anime like it's not gonna happen okay it's not how it works maybe if you're lucky but that is like zero zero that's like zero point zero 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 one percent gonna happen to you like that that is like it's un it's not probable okay it's not probable that it's gonna happen it's rare it may happen but it's not probable so like you guys gotta figure this out this is not only for the comic book artists this is for the animators this is for everybody in the art industry everyone who wants to make a living doing art or you want to figure out a way now you want to get into animation whether you want to do like 2d 3d you know whether you want to be an illustrator whether you want to be like i've seen you know what i've noticed like a lot like the animation industry is what i've noticed is very open to the ai thing they're very oh they're more open than any of the other industries because you see animators are more open from what i've seen to any of this ai stuff because what's happening is like not just animators but visual effects artists as well and you know people that had like mostly in the film industry and stuff like that a lot of them are looking into the ai stuff as well and a lot of them are more open to it and the reason why is because most of people in this industry uh will produce videos and films as well as create animations and stuff like that they are half they half and half they kind of artistic but they also have a technical side to them because you kind of have to have both to work in this industry you don't you can't just have the art level because you got to know how things work technically as well and the process and stuff like that so you got to know that and so that's why i'm saying animators are actually having a better go at this than illustrators or like people who normally just like paint stuff and, and there's nothing wrong with that it's just 
the way the industry is working now, like I don't know how those jobs are going to hold up or how they're exactly going to change in the future. And there will always be an audience for that. There will always be a crowd who would, you know, flock to one way or the other. But it's going to be mad changes. And uh, a lot of the AI software nowadays are free. Most of them are free. So like a lot of solo artists, a lot of people. Um, the only problem that I can see happening with AI is younger people misusing them and not focusing on their fundamentals, which is another thing that I do want to talk about. For those of you who just think you can take a shortcut, for those of you who just think that, you know, this is going to be the quickest way and therefore I should do it this way only. Like, I want you guys to think about this because you're going to kind of cheat yourself. You have to know the fundamentals. You have to know how to fundamentally build things up to how they need to be you need to know that you need a very strong basis and foundation to kind of actually work the ai stuff to their full potential and utilize the tools to the best that you can using your fundamentals because if you don't have your fundamentals if you don't have very strong fundamentals you are going to sink you're gonna sink in the sand okay you're gonna just fucking suffocate because because what's gonna happen is those tools can only take you so far they can only take you so far on its own. You need to have a very strong core in order to utilize the tools to the full potential. So this is what I'm saying about AI. AI can be as good as it can be, but AI plus a very well-trained artist, you're going to have a recipe for greatness over there. I'm not kind of like, you know, advocating for the AI bros and stuff like that, right? I'm advocating for utilizing these tools to the fullest while at the same time improving yourself as an artist and adapting to the times because the best artists adapt to whatever is happening and you gotta do that you gotta keep up with the times otherwise you're gonna be left behind guys so you gotta do what you gotta do and i probably rambled a bunch of nonsense this whole time but hopefully it gave you food for thought hopefully it gave you something to think about and hopefully it actually motivated you and helped you Think on ways to improve and figure out new things you know and always never stop improving keep going even if you're fucking 65 years old i don't think i will stop ever working <laughs> you fucking kidding me with like ai now and all this stuff coming in for like making it more easier than ever by the time i hit 60 i will still be able to animate because there's so much tools that will ease my workflow you know what i mean like it will be so easy to create things but it's time I eat fucking 80, I'll still be creating stuff. I don't think I'll ever give up. Like, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy being a fucking great animator. And um, one day, I, you know, I hope I put my name up there with like Aaron, like Aaron Blaze, you know, all those cool animators. Um, you know, especially like like animators like Yutaka Nakamura, the fucking goat, man. I wish I could be up there with those guys. Those, like, those guys, I see their works and it fucking... You know, I want to do what they do. Like, not only do I want to do what they do, but I want to do it way better than they do it. So, like, yeah, man, that's still the goal. The, still, the goal is still to become the best in the fucking world at animation. That's been my goal since day one. One day when I reach my glory days, you know, and I'm looking down at you peasants. <laughs> I don't think when I reach those high peaks... Now, obviously, I'll get cocky with my shit. I think, uh... All, all artists are humbled in the industry at the end of the day. When you look at other artists, you see what they do. Not only humbles you, but it really inspires you and motivates you to do what they do. Uh, especially if you love the craft and you love what you do, right? Hopefully, this inspired some of you guys. Hopefully, it motivated you. And uh, I appreciate you guys for listening and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.